It's time now to talk horses and joining us now is Chris Heine, our new equine extension specialist. And Chris, welcome to OSU. Well, thank you very much. This time of year is probably a good time for horse owners to do a little planning. Mm -hmm. And in terms of breeding season, what kind of advice do you have for them? Well, one is first to decide whether or not it's a good idea to breed your mare. Um, a lot of owners fail to realize all the costs that may actually be involved when choosing to breed their mare. So it's not only just the stud fee, but all of the veterinary visits you may have if you're going to ship semen, the cost of transport if the mare needs to go to the stallion, mare care. So there's a variety of charges a lot of people don't consider when they're making that decision about making a new baby. And sometimes it may be better to just buy a horse, it's right? Oftentimes it's actually better and easier just to buy a horse. In terms of facilities, there's also some things to consider when you're when you're planning. Sure, if you're gonna um, raise a foal, you have to have a safe environment for a foal. So people tend to forget that little horses can escape out of places. They're also a little bit more destructive or can get into things a little bit more than adult horse. So you really need to look at your property and decide if it's a good idea or not. Now, in terms of foaling, mm -hmm. which is right around the corner, what kind of advice do you have for horse owners? Most mares will foal out without a problem. 90% of foalings proceed normally without any need for human intervention. But a lot of people get really excited about that baby being born and want to get in there and get involved and help it stand up and help it nurse, when that may not be the best thing to do. Really, it's best to watch to see if there's any problems and only intervene if you actually need to. Your natural tendency is to want to help, um, but how do you know when something might be wrong. What are some of the signs and what kind of preparation can you do in advance? Sure, well, if you're watching a mare foal, you're attending her foaling and she's been straining for about 10 minutes without any progress. So you don't see any further uh, pushing out of the feet of the foal or of the muzzle, then that may be a time to at least check to see if the foal is actually positioned correctly. Um, otherwise, you should just kind of step back and let nature take its course. At what point do you think you need to call the veterinarian? If you've examined the mare and you found that maybe the foal isn't positioned correctly, that's certainly a time to, um, to call your vet. If you're not an experienced person at foaling out mares and feel comfortable with repositioning a foal. Um, so most of the time I would encourage people to work very closely with their veterinarian and have these discussions ahead of time. What are the type of things you can handle on your own and when should you get them there as soon as possible? But like you said, most of the time nature is going to take its course as it does. Mm -hmm. And it's a wonderful experience. I'd encourage people, if you can be involved, to watch it. But again, watch it from afar. You don't need to be that close. And then those babies walk pretty quickly. Yes, they do. They'll be on their feet uh, pretty soon. Again, you don't need to help them. Uh, babies have been getting up on their own for a long time. It's very entertaining to watch as they struggle to get up. But again, just let them do it. This spring, you're putting together a workshop for horse owners. Tell us about that. Yeah, March 7th, so the first Saturday in March, we're going to have a joint effort between the Animal Science Department and the College of Veterinary Medicine, um, putting together a workshop for small horse owners. So we're gonna have topics related to parasite control, pasture management, choosing the correct fences for your horses that are safe and economical, and some other hands-on activities and vendors out here at the arena. Okay, sounds like a great workshop. Chris, thank you very much, and we'll see you again you. soon. And for a link to the website that Chris mentioned, just go to sunup.okstate.edu.